Just a reminder you guys of what I got going on here. Um, double turn plow gonna go unplayed. Um, got village peasant which is quite strong. My plan is that village peasant will give me four vegetables, four grain, which is um, the grain is worth three points and the vegetables worth five points, so it would be an eight point card. Uh, the way that I do that is just make sure I play four occupations, four miners. Yeah, I think Village Peasant is really strong. Um, and then I'll have a ton, like my farm won't be very pretty, but I'll have a ton of points from um, crops and then also from improvements. So um, he plays Inheritance. So this is uh, kind of, I don't, I don't know if it, there's that much strategy to it. I guess you can lay your farm out super well, but uh, to me it seems like you pay a read and hope that one or two categories hit. And if that's the case, then you uh, almost by accident are going to get... Um, almost by accident you're going to get something good happening. Uh, I'll play, so Stone Polisher will get me a stone back at the end of this round. Bohemian might get me, start getting me food. Hmm. Or I play Inventor, and Inventor saves me a stone as well. Right away. Uh... Stone Polisher seems to have a slightly wider net. As in, it'll work with Beehive Oven, so I'll play Stone Polisher. Yeah, so Freemason needs to build clay oven here, and if he doesn't, I'm going to build clay oven. Uh, but I'm sure that he will. Um, I can play well here, actually. I don't need to play pottery. Um, yeah, and I do want to build the... Oh, I can't build the well. I could Reno play the well. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Reno build the well because otherwise Keith might get the well. Yeah, I think this is what I want to do. The well is seems pretty important for me. So uh, I'm in position four, three, four, five. So Reno play well and then get two stone at the end of the round. And feed four. Yeah, so I definitely want to get pottery if I can. So that means I want to do a big clay action. Next round, I will be doing starting, I will be doing family growth stone oven as my first action. Uh, and then after that, who can say maybe six wood maybe six clay one of those actions most likely so I'll do that and then I play stone oven and I discard grain mill oven to play it for free and then I get a bake action with that so that lets me do something like uh, inventor or bohemian um, I think I need food. So let's do Bohemian. So 
So Payne grabs a ton of clay. So that means I might get six wood. What I don't know what Payne's doing. You have to grow. Like Payne, you don't have a chance to grow. You don't have a chance to win if you don't grow. So maybe he's thinking he'll get this four read with his second action. Uh, I don't know. Pain is sometimes difficult to understand why he does what he does. Because yeah, if Keith and Freemason go both get six wood, that's just so bad for me. So bad. Although Freemason might look at his heiress and choose to take four clay instead. No, Keith grabs the reed actually. So Keith is likely looking at his feeding and saying that he wants um, pa uh, basket maker's workshop. So he looks like he's going for the basket maker's workshop. So I get six wood and then hopefully next round I get five clay and I will call that excellent compensation. Although Payne might take the clay again. So Payne finally starting to get read. I haven't seen a reason for him to fence so early and totally give up on building rooms, but I guess if he starting players ahead of Keith, then, you know. Alright, looks like Keith is starting player, starting player Holy Skirt, Skirt. So he needed to play it here because now when he family grows, he actually gets the grain from it. Mm, Freemason grabs the clay probably looking at Eris. So yeah, I might have to change tracks and get joinery because I have to imagine Keith is getting Basket Maker's Workshop, in which case I'm going to go for join, uh, pottery or joinery and hopefully I get joinery. And then I'm also going to have to make sure that I get one of the fireplaces or cooking hearth, hearse. I also have this nice play where I can do starting player uh, I have this nice play where I can do starting play or beehive oven and play an, play an, uh, an occupation. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I can even use it for like big buyer. Should be kind of nice. So yeah, my f I've got my four occupations played. So I'm going to play beehive oven gonna play cart pond and then probably field of mud or lamp oil one of those two and then I have two of my majors played and then I'm gonna get one of joinery basket makers workshop or BMW if I get two that would be great but otherwise I'll just go for a hearth or a fireplace and that'll be fine He plays Carrot Breeder. Every time you plow, you can buy a vegetable for one food. Pretty strong. Uh, I don't, yeah. Every time you plow, use the plow one field action space. And yeah, so actually it's not that strong. I would say it's pretty marginal. Um, Not marginal, it's okay. So the thing is, you don't want to go in the plow and, field, plow and field space that many times because it's not all that strong. Um, Hod, whenever you play this, you get a clay, and any time someone uses take a bore, you get two clay. All right, that's decent. Uh, I think what it means, though, is it means that I can beat Keith to the um, basket maker's workshop. And if I could do that, that would make me quite happy because I really want that basket maker's workshop. 
and also it would make his feeding way harder and Keith is just gonna have a ridiculous game growing twice in a row plus animal pen yeah So what do I do here? Do I first action read stone food? I might need to. I could go on traveling players. Traveling players would probably be safer. The other thing is doing traveling players disincentivizes Keith from growing and then jumping to an occupation space. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I get a food. So I do I first action travel. When does primary school teacher activate? At the end of the work phase. So that means I still have time to take it. The other thing I can do is I can major minor beehive oven inventor and then second action and then and then third action basket makers workshop. That would work as well. Yeah, so I would play beehive oven inventor and then I would end up saving some stuff on uh, pottery or on basket makers workshop, which would be pretty good actually. And I would also spend four stone so I would get four stone back or two stone back yeah that's looking that's looking like an okay play although I did want to do traveling players maybe Freemason will traveling players I hope he does No, Freemason is grabbing other resources. How badly do I want to block Keith? Hmm. Not that badly, it turns out. So now Basket Maker's Workshop is mine because there's no way anyone can build it before me and that is quite nice I also get another miner played yeah looking good grain mill oven was actually huge grain mill oven plus frosh is, seems really nice it's a little too like I, I can't complain it would have been nice to get the clay oven as well but this is an excellent uh, compensation. Oh, you can sub in a stone for two read. Okay, I missed that. So I would like Freemason to do traveling players. That would make me happy. Although I imagine he's going to so bake. Yeah. Well, that happens. And here I do this. And I save a read. Save read plus SS plus F. Feed three R. All right, this is looking good. So 
So I'm at three majors already, so I only need one more, and the joinery should be very easy for me to get. So now I just need to focus on getting all my uh, getting all my other stuff played. So so far, my frosh has let me play stone polisher, bohemian, and inventor for no food cost, and in addition to building improvements. And I want to build a ton of improvements. So yeah, this is. Frosh has been okay, but I think only because of Grain Mill Oven. If I hadn't got Grain Mill Oven, Frosh would have been a mistake. Um, because I didn't get support for doing a lot of grain play, which is what I would have hoped for. Uh, I'm going to grab four clay so that I can build the pottery or a cooking hearth. Either way, I want one of them. So I will do starting play or cart pond in round 11 or round 12. And I also want to start plowing fields. So yeah, plow or take wood and then build pottery. Probably pottery first. Just to make sure, absolutely certain that I get it and that'll be, that'll have my feeding be a lot easier for the rest of the game. Why did he add two food? Where did that two food come from? So this is move to plus stone. How do you eat a stone? Oh, quarrymen. It was uh, just quarrymen that I was missing out on. So hopefully I get three wood, otherwise I don't really have anything else that I want to do. Um, yeah. 
I want three wood. Hey, I get three wood. That works for me. I could fence 12. Uh, I th think, though, it's worth trying to get another three wood action. But yeah, I could fence 12 and get four sheep, for example. Or two cattle. I guess I could have played carp pond there and gotten gotten another food, but it's not super important, I don't think. I get a food from my bohemian and a stone from my stone reclamator. So that stone might be worth something if I build joinery. Yeah, because I can build joinery for the cost of one stone. Uh, am I going to reno to stone? Maybe. I would have to do a stone action and it would eat a reed, which I don't necessarily want to do. I might want to keep my reed for food and points. So, Oh, there we go. There's the potter's yard. So that's why, that's what he's thinking. So then probably he has some kind of plow. And then that plow will let him get a bunch of food here for the, yeah. I thought that card would be so good for me. And then I realized, oh wait, you actually need uh, gardening enthusiast. You actually need um, to use your, you want to use it for fences probably. That's the best case scenario so you need a way of doing other things instead hmm bull breeder he gets a cattle okay oh daycare excuse me daycare center pay one wood Mmm, should have put it on the other one. I mean, Payne himself is not likely to go want to go on the expensive occupation space, but I don't know. Uh, what do I want to do here? If family growth... I think I want to plow. I need to get these plows going. And then my second action will be starting player if there's nothing else to do. I guess I have understudy, so I don't need to worry about getting enough plowing because I can always do a second plow this round, which actually I'll probably do. Yeah, so if I could get three wood or starting player and then do another plow action, and that'll be, that'll be it for this round for me. Yeah, so that means it's easy for me to get to four fields. If I get to four fields, then I can do fence 14 or 15. Um, probably ideally 15, because it's just one more three wood action.
Yeah, this game is, I think it's going well. Probably how well it'll end up going will depend on if I get starting player into family growth. That's kind of a 50-50 and it'll make a big difference for me. And then the other thing is if these clay and reed spaces keep accumulating or not. If they don't, then uh, like if I don't get a five or six reed action, then that'll be a couple points different difference. I don't see a reason for anyone else to want reed. For example, Freemason will want reed stone food instead to get more stone. Uh, Keith has all the reed he needs for the rest of the game. Payne would need one reed, but again, he can do a reed stone food and then a two stone action. Also, he's on three three rooms, so actually, he doesn't need reed at all. He only needs stone. He needs four stone to go to stone with his slate roof card. I don't have to starting player here, but I think I may as well. Get another food from Carp Pond. So now I'm just one minor improvement away from my really strong village ple village peasant play. Getting to a fifth in each doesn't do you anything because it's an extra grain which is only worth a point if you have some grain already like if you had three it would be worth or if one it would be worth a point in your supply and the other thing is you can't eat them right so the extra vegetable does you nothing unless you have a way of getting extra points from having more vegetables and it's like it's really rare anyways like it, i'm barely gonna get to uh I'm barely gonna get to that number. I guess I could have played Field of Mud. Hmm. Maybe I'll starting player Field of Mud first action next round and just really piss off uh, Freemason. Because I would be pissed off if someone did that to me. So I'll eat a clay, a reed, and bohemian food. Yeah, um, Field of Mud would have been much stronger because then if Plowso comes here, I can grab three boar. Although they would, one of them would run. Either way, I'll get a breeding pair of boar going with Field of Mud. But uh, I do not have to worry about that because I got Family Growth. That was really good. That was really good for me. I've gotten quite lucky twice. I got start I got first action and first or second action would have been quite important for me and in round one to not allow myself to double readstone food round two uh, because understudy loses a lot of value otherwise if you don't get double readstone food early on uh, in one of the first two rounds I think and then this happening as well also being able to play uh, um Forest district, which is the one food for a uh, one food for six wood card. Yeah, that uh, that's pretty important too. So uh, I grab four wood if it's available. Uh, otherwise, I starting player again. I start starting player and play field field of mud, because I don't care about uh, having first action in round fourteen. Because I'm not going to be competing with anyone for Reno. All I care about is getting more action. So I want to do another family growth without room. That'll be a good way for me to get some more points.
There it is. And then I have a nice uh, two bore that I can grab next round. So I'm now totally set for, I'm totally set for uh, my village peasant. All I need to do is play it now. So I don't have anything in particular that I really want to do here. Mm, I guess I can do four reed just because that's the most likely thing to get taken. Uh, although four clay, Payne does like clay and Keith needs clay to reno. So if I think Keith is a threat, I should take the clay. If I don't, then I should take the reed. I think that's the way I look at it because clay will accumulate faster towards round 14. The other thing is there is a chance that um, Payne chooses to take clay, although it's not really clear to me why he would... Yeah, no, he's not going to take clay. He's just doing it for his shovel bearer. Unfortunately, I got pottery maker... pottery, so I'm denying him those points with those actions. So I'm going to think for a moment. Uh, I do need wood. Another two wood would be a point. I think though I can hope that to get three wood. Mm. Sucks for Keith, but what can you do? So if I can get two boar and accommodate five boar total at the end of the game, that'll be some extra points. Oh, he's actually doing the upgrade with the vegetable slicer. You get two wood and a vegetable. Oh, that's good. He needs a plow. That's what he really needs. He needs a turn rest plow. If he could starting player turn rest plow next round, that would be really good for him. But he's got all that stone that's going to be not useful, I think. So. Wood carrier. You get a wood for each major minor improvement in front of you. Yeah, this is really strong. Like for me, imagine how good that would be for me. And then I could get joinery. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, that card is too strong. If you think about wood distributor, or not wood distributor, wood collector, which gives you five wood but it gives it over time. But it doesn't have any, I guess it doesn't have any attach, anything attached to it. I think Wood Carrier is not good because it gives it out instantly. If it gave it per round, I think it would be fine. It would probably be a little too weak then, actually. Hmm. Uh, only one person played an occupation there, right? So I get a food from Bohemian. And then I do this.
So, excuse me, sorry. So I need to convert reed in the next two harvests or else uh, feeding will be very difficult for me. So yeah, I gotta make sure I do that. I gotta play village Ple peasant, which I can do on the so bake action space. And actually, doing so bake round 14 would be kind of nice because it probably blocks a bunch of point actions for other players. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my second action will be five reed or three wood. Hmm. I think five reed because the reed is too important for me to let it to allow it to get stolen. But if plow is available, I definitely have to consider plow. Okay, no, it's not. I wouldn't mind starting player lamp oil. It would get me another point of food. Keith fences, or Freemason fences. So then there are now only Keith and I left to fence, and Keith hopefully will fence on Reno fence. And he'll get both fence actions. Otherwise, I need to set myself up to be able to Reno fence, because if I don't fence, then I lose. Then I definitely am going to lose. I need that, uh, need those points. Although building joinery would be fun, but it's definitely better to grab stone and, and, uh, do that other stuff. So Keith grabs three wood. Oh man, Keith is not going to be able to reno anymore. So I think that means I need to starting player. And I would like to take another animal first because then I can starting player play lamp oil. I hope Keith has a way. Oh, he has a hod. Okay, Hod will get him another two clay. So if he uses boar here and then again next round, okay. So I actually want to give him clay, I think, because I don't want to compete with him for fencing. Starting player, which is dance ground. I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. Means I have second action, so I can plow. And he's out of wood. Do I want to allow myself to be able to reno next round? Uh, it's more points. And what else do I do here? The only cards I have that's worth anything is lamp oil. Uh, I could play big buyer. Um, it would be a two wood action, but two wood is only one point. I could take traveling players. I think what I do here is I do three stone. Because now I can reno fence if I need to. So my first action can be to go on plow, which will let me double plow. Yeah, especially with Keith struggling to get enough clay to make it to a um, clay house. 
I'm feeling quite good. That play, being able to get well, Stone Oven, Basket Makers Workshop, and Pottery is just nuts. Um, and how did I manage to do that? Well, Payne played Slate Roof early. That uses his stone. Keith was focused on getting his occupations out for Animal Pen. And uh, Freemason was focused on his Eris play and played Clay Oven. So that meant that all the stone came to me because I was doing Reed Stone Food twice with my understudy. So that let me build the first well. Let me build Stone Oven for free with my um, thing. Although Stone Oven is not usually contested that early anyways. Um, yeah. So what do I want to do here? I could take sheep. I could do traveling players. I could do so bake, play village peasant. Hmm. I think I'm gonna take cattle. Because it's, uh, it's two more points. And then taking cattle again next round will be one point. You know what? I'm probably only going to get... I think this is the absolute safest play here. Taking traveling players. And then I feed uh, five food. Uh, maybe I don't eat a reed. Maybe I do four, seven food. Uh, I could do seven food in a clay. So if I do seven food in a clay, that leaves me with five. And then I have the option to get another five, which would cost me two points. Okay. And I'm probably gonna end up spending an action taking uh, food anyways. And then uh, maybe I get a food from Bohemian. Maybe I get two food from Bohemian. Farm creator, two bonus points for each farm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is a funny card. One, two, three, and he needs to do one more plow to make it a eight point card. And Keith plays Dove Hunter. So no Bohemian food for me. That's okay. I guess Keith is going for joinery, Reno joinery probably. I guess he wants to play Dove Hunter anyways to eat his cattle. And here I plow because my Reno fence is completely safe unless a uh, pain takes boar. That'd be the only thing that could trip me up. Uh, quick plug here for the uh, Discord channel. Um, use, we're gonna use it mostly for voice, uh, voice chat, voice interaction. But yeah, this is another place to talk to me. 
Um, if you go onto the forum, the uh, the thing is. Um, The invite link is broken right now, but I'll fix that. And uh, yeah, it's another place to hang out. I'm gonna maybe try to play some other games, and so it would be cool to play with, uh, with viewers. So if you want to do that, um, definitely go and request a thing on the on the uh, Discord channel, and just make sure you send me a message either on Discord or an email or leave a comment on YouTube, just saying. Hey, this is me, um, in case I don't recognize your name, um, because unfortunately I don't recognize everyone's names. Uh, okay, so four wood is a two-point action. Taking animals is a two-point action. Um, yeah, sheep's gone. I would have liked to have denied the sheep. Um, hmm. I can do cattle, I can do boar, boar is one point, cattle is two points, yeah I think since there are two wood actions that give me what I want, I will do this. Oh I gotta make sure I play, uh, gotta make sure I play, um, Hard. What am I? What am I thinking of? I gotta make sure I play village peasant. Sorry, I turned my fan up. It's quite hot where I am. And I'm not sure if you guys can hear that at all. I'm getting a little bit of feedback on the mic, but hopefully that's not coming through. Oh, it looks like it is a little. Okay. Uh, I should go and push to talk, I guess. I don't think there was any of it before, so I'll just go back to the lower setting, and then it should be fine. Pain plays Field Merchant. You get a read each time you would build a major, minor, major, you can instead get a great vegetable. That's really strong. Uh, Reno vegetable early on is quite nice. Uh, hmm. It is an occupation. If it was a miner, I would say it was really strong. Hmm. It lets you do starting player grain, which I don't like, because that's really annoying. Uh, Keith has done his fencing, but I think just to be safe, I'll reno fence here. Oh, um, I can't get sheep anymore, but I do have some one point actions with taking clay or taking reeds, stuff like that. So I think this play here is okay. Uh, yeah, I really don't want Keith to block me. Yeah, so probably taking cattle over four wood was a mistake. In, but would cattle have come back around? Maybe. They all have cattle. Uh, they might have taken it to deny me, though. So, yeah, next action will be so play uh, village peasant. I could starting player play village peasant. That would Or starting player lamp oil and then so bake village peasant. That would work, too. Mm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keith has played all seven occupations. Uh, Freemason already played his one late game point action. I think I didn't see Carrot Breeder, but I saw all the other cards. So, yeah, trying to remember if there were other late game cards. Probably Farm Creator was the last one. He has his last action now anyway. So it's just Keith and I. So playing occupations are safe. Um, it would just be a matter of if I wanted to deny so bake or not. Yeah, so my last two moves will probably be starting player lamp oil and then play an occupation, play village peasant.
The other reason cattle is better is because then I can do this and boom or take wood is better because then I can do this and then it's the same number of points whether I fence that or not and then I have another two point action available to me. So yeah, that was probably a mistake. But mm, I'll survive. Uh, yeah, read and none of those are really any good. So I'll do this because it's a food and a point. It's a food and a point which is as good as uh, read stone food. So that works. What's my the score on my farm like? 41 right now? <laughs> it's gonna about to get a bit better. Just a bit. When I drop my village peasant. Five food, a clay, and a reed. So probably if I had been smarter, I would have not done traveling players here and done something else instead. Um, yeah. So do I have any points on any of my new things? I don't see anything. Yeah, so I just get what I show on my farm, which is uh, 47. So that's 47 for me. And uh, what does Keith have? 39. I might have a couple bonus points, but I don't think enough to get to me. Yeah, so. I didn't score all that high, but I scored better than the other players, which, uh, so what did Payne have? Payne had 40, yeah, 40, 38, 40, 38, 44, 47, GG. Okay, so that's a J-Deck playtest game, so yeah, I think um, everyone scores a little lower than normal. Um, because the cards were not overly strong like some of them like forest district is obviously really strong but like I mean so a lot of the occupations I think are kind of weird and it's not really clear how good they are so that makes people score lower but then once they really figure out you know the draft and the value of the cards and stuff once I have a bit more experience then um, then that'll change I'm really happy with my game um, Village Peasant seems crazy, although it's very unlikely that you'll be able to get four majors. Getting three majors, if you have any help, is not unheard of. And then three majors is three vegetables and three grain. Now that, that fourth major gives you another two points, which is quite nice, but even so, I still would have won if I had gotten one fewer out of each of them. Yeah. Yeah, GG. Um, I'm not going to do too much analysis of this. I think the other guys, like, Payne grew, just grew too late. Like, too late. He only scored 40. Um, yeah, he needed a plow, which he didn't have. Keith, Keith uh, didn't get to a stone house. If he had gotten to a stone house, he would have been more of a threat. Um, and again, no plow. I think the big thing in this game where there's no minor improvement pl no minor improvement plows. Two fields, two fields, two fields, three fields. I'm the only one with three, and the only reason I have three is because of understudy. Otherwise, I would have only had two. Except for the one plow which you pay building resources. So, yeah. Anyways, that's it for this game. Thanks very much for watching. Um, yeah. I think that's it from me. Uh, do appreciate your feedback. So let me know if you guys, what you guys want to see of. The number one feedback I get is just more videos. That's what everyone seems to say. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, uh, and I'll see you guys next time.